Tim, it's a pleasure meeting you, by the way. Thank you. Yes, so I'm Mark with The Intellectual, and I'm going to be honest with you, I am a Sci-Fi Fest virgin. Oh. Yes. Well, then you're in store for a really, really fun time. I bet. I'm already having fun, and it's only a meet and greet. <laughs> we haven't even gotten started yet. No. Um, I was in the festival last year. I have heard. The first heard. time, the, um, the very premiere of all of this concept and idea, and it was, I think, spectacularly you know, successful, and I really, really enjoyed working on it and being part of it and also being able to see all the all the different plays that you can see on any given night right. uh, during the festival. You had a very successful radio play last year. Yes, we did. We yeah. did a very successful comedy piece, yeah. very fast, very up-tempo, uh, very, very, very satirical and very funny. I thought it was wonderfully written and we had a, a blast doing it. That's nice. And how about this year? What about your this project? This year, same thing. I'll be doing another radio play. Okay, comedy? Uh, yes, it is a comedy. Okay. And I'll be playing a police sergeant. Nice. Uh, not to give away the story or anything, but it's sure. a pretty cool story. And, and uh, for me, uh, I would I was I would like to have gone and done a, a role on one of the stage plays as an actor on stage, but I didn't I wasn't sure about my schedule, so I wanted to make sure, sure. I could come in and do something, be part of it without you know worrying about uh, not being able to make enough performance. Right, right. Yeah. You know, as an actor, you want to have an open schedule, and you got to be worried about your commitments. That's it. That's I'm it. trying to deal with that as a person. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, Comedy, that's not naturally your forte, but I guess uh, this is something you enjoyed. I have, done, your... I have done a lot of comedy over the years, and a lot of it's been dry. It's certain style dry, of yeah, it yeah. tends to be dry, yep. and that's the stuff that I really enjoy. Last year, I mean, the play we were in, the radio play, actually was a lot more broad than I normally play. Really? Okay. Um, this one might be a little bit more broad as well, but it worked really well. Just based it was written, the kind of role I was playing, it worked just fine. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a great hybrid of, uh, of, of film. Yes. And, and okay. of... I, plays as well. Absolutely. Sci-fi and comedy. Yeah, and science fiction, there's no reason why you can't have the comedy element in there because, quite honestly, I mean, some of the most famous movies, what is it, Spaceballs and things like that. You said it right there. That's right, man. Is there How any way that? we can hear it? <laughs> we ain't found shit. You heard it here <laughs> on The Intellectual, folks. I get a high five. That's literally one of the best lines in cinematic history. Boy, I'll tell you, you I, I was ever, the last 10 or 15 years, I'm just amazed at how popular that movie has become. Yeah. How much of a cult following it has and how many people remember that line. Exactly. Yeah. I, um, two quick stories about that. Yes. Uh, I saw, I went to the Star Wars celebration a couple days ago. In Anaheim. In Anaheim. Yes. And I saw Dark Helmet. <laughs> Along with his spy space balls. I saw Princess Vespa. Oh my I saw Lone Star. I saw Barf. Oh, my goodness. There needs to be... I don't know They're, if there well, was. You know what they need is we need a space balls, too. We need a sequel. We do. Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Where they are doing brand new, three new movies. We need a sequel. Yes. And, of course... Reprise your role. Yes. Of course. Of course. Everyone wants to yeah. see that. Maybe in that one, I will have found shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, well, it, like I said, this is a pleasure interviewing you, uh, being here, thank and uh, going to the play. I'm looking forward to it, particularly yours. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. And I hope that uh, everyone out there comes and sees the shows. Um, they are the most amazing and fun things you'll have on a theater night in Los Angeles. And we hope to be doing this many, many years beyond this. So. Yeah, this is only the second uh, year, and I heard it's already almost doubled That's since right. last year. That's so. Right. Yeah. You have to start somewhere. Comic-Con started somewhere, right? Now hey. look at that beast. Yeah. That yeah. and Dragon Con, huge. Dragon Con. As long as we keep doing it and we keep having really good uh, plays that we perform yeah. and good actors to come on and do them, good directors, we can make this happen. Yeah? Excellent, yeah. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Thank you. Take yeah. care. Yeah, we'll see you again May 7th. May 7th. May 7th. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.